guys you're yeah, welcome to my youtube channel if this is your first time seeing me on this channel you're yeah, welcome my name is afolake and this is fluki's den i love sharing new things and on this channel i share lifestyle tips nuggets that will help new immigrants find their footing in a new country to actually make settlement easy if this looks like what you're looking forward to listening to do subscribe to my youtube channel so you can get useful information about new videos that i post all the time and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming on board based on popular demand i want to simplify in like six points the benefits of moving to canada for as many of you that are looking forward to migrating i think you should look at the option of coming to canada and this is why number one canada is fine canada is so beautiful canada is so beautiful it is fine look if you're looking for a beautiful place to stay clean air good standard of living safe environment canada is it wherever you choose in canada whichever province you decide to move to you are bound to have the same benefit it's all in the canadian thing right canada is beautiful and of course with the beautiful cities come the wonderful people that live here in canada so if you appreciate clean air good standard of living safe environment canada is the place to be so wherever you decide to move to in canada whichever province you move to you are sure to have the same benefit the air is so clean that um you know i i would always draw relevance from when we stayed back in nigeria and um, for my husband he had um in fact i think we thought he had um like an infection or something that has to do with his breathing he wasn't um he would wheeze he couldn't stay where you sweep he, he wouldn't stay where there's dust because he would always complain that it affects his breathing and that's why we couldn't um put some, some rugs or carpets in our home. And then he had, of course, a regular medication that he took to be able to relieve him of those um, problems. And guess what, guys? We moved into Canada. He still brought those medications because he just clears his airspace so that he can breathe freely. And of course, when we got to Canada, well, the usual thing, he takes it because he's used to taking it. At some point, he forgot. And when he remembered, it was like a week or more. And he just said, baby, guess what? I don't take this medication again. I, I can't even remember when last I took it. And because his breathing changed. And that obviously we could point to the air that he was just breathing in. It was so clear. It was so clean. It was different. And it's been two years we've been living here nothing of such has come up again so tell me guys is it not clean air that we have here in canada the air is clean so you have every reason to decide to move into canada if you have been living in a polluted country or you have a place that you stay that is polluted you want clean air canada is the best option for you to move to and also with the clean air and the good environment we have wonderful canadians people citizens that live in canada in fact canadians are wonderful people they are polite to a fault they are open-minded they are tolerant they are friendly they are easygoing and even before i got here i know so many people have said that canadians are laid back they don't stress themselves they don't take things difficult and that's why when you are coming from a very stressful environment out of canada and you are looking at moving into canada you must look forward to chilling out with canadians because they chill they know how to relax they don't stress themselves they take things easy they they work yeah but it's it's um no stress attached no stress they don't like stress so they are very homely people wonderful warm cautious polite to a fault even if they are abusing you say they will abuse you politely so it's not the one that you know someone would talk to you to your face or say something to to put you um in a very difficult spot but 
they would do that politely and with a lot of kind gesture. Canada offers excellent health care based on your need rather than based on your ability to pay. Irrespective of whether you earn a living or not, you're entitled to a basic health care. So you, you, you worry less about, you know, those concerns that come up when people are worried about how much they're going to pay out of pocket, especially for a sick child or a particular ailment, and they decide to stay in their houses and nurse those, um, those ailments till it gets worse. You don't have to worry. You're entitled to free health care, whether you're a citizen, you're a PR, you're entitled to a free health care. And this, of course, covers health care, dental, eye care, and so much more, at least to a barest minimum. And when you're talking of barest minimum, it's still the same kind of health care that you find, except you look at um, some kind of um, illnesses that your employer can cover, you know, if you have a health care plan from your employer that would give you a better coverage but when we're talking of basic we're talking of the basic things of some illnesses that come your way you don't have to think twice because you're not spending out of pocket it's like free it is free not like it is free healthcare. so you can be rest assured that when you're sick or you feel that your loved one is sick without thinking twice you'll be willing to go to the hospital to get or receive the care that you require. And this is a big weight that, you know, takes, that goes off an ordinary citizen, you know, that feels like healthcare is so expensive or healthcare is unattainable. I have to work, I have to pay for me to be able to get health. No, 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 no. You, you, you rest assured that you will get, it's just a big weight taken off citizens or, you know, Canadians that they can get health care at the very barest minimum. Also, thinking of moving to Canada, I would say, say yes. Because Canada's got lots of space. I, for one, love space because that helps me as an interior designer to also put my thoughts and my designs into play. Um, a lot of people don't like you know, places that are so choked up or so small for them to move around or combine some logistics around the house. Especially in this kind of um, country whereby you have the ability to work from home, you still want space to do other things without anything conflicting. So, I love the space around Canada, from their roads, even their houses. Oh my God, you, you, there's space. For you, there's drive space, there's parking space on the road. Um, unlike the UK, whereby when you park, it's difficult for you to, you know what I'm saying. But here, when you park, there's still room for two cars to drive on the road. You are in no way constituted any traffic scene. So, bottom line, it's a black space. It's... Um, a space that everybody will enjoy if you have kids no matter the kind of houses that you eventually live in you would find it suitable for your family size whether you're in an apartment condo or you live in a standalone house whatever it's going to be sizable enough for your family size so it's not choking nothing like that you got space you're covered Canada promotes family ties and that's one thing that also encourages so many people to look at moving into Canada. Family ties is something. So, for instance, if you decide to move into Canada by any kind of immigration stream that you choose or you find accessible to yourself, trust me that you'll be able to come with your family. They, they, they encourage family ties so much that they don't want you to be here and then your family is somewhere else even those holidays some of the holidays that we have is family based it goes to show that it is a country that encourages family ties and that helps families to thrive together no wonder the hsbc expert explorer survey shows that canada is the fourth best country for people to move into if you're looking forward to moving into canada another benefit is that canada 
is a diverse and a multicultural country. It's a progressive country. You don't have to lose your culture, your tradition, your language, or your religion because you're moving into Canada. In fact, I think almost everybody in Canada is an immigrant except for the natives of the land, which constitutes just a very minimal fraction of the whole of um, Canadians. So everybody has their culture from the Filipinos to the Latinos to the Africans. So many, you know, Asians, people still hold strong their culture. And if you get to work, of course, in, in wherever you work as well, there's diversity in the workplace. So there are people that are, of course, from different cultures, which also encourages you to learn about them, know their culture, understand their beliefs. You know, it helps you to discover more about those cultures. You don't have to go to China, for instance, for you to know so much about the culture. The people are here. And when you interact with them on a day-to-day -day basis, if you are lucky or fortunate to work with them in the same organization, you'll appreciate them more beyond what is in the news that you hear. So that means it's diverse. It um, encourages um, you to still hold strong your culture, your beliefs, your language, your traditions. They are still preserved. And that's one beautiful thing about Canada. It's so multicultural and there's progression. Another point is that Canada spends so much on education per capita, more than other industrial nations of the world. Unlike other countries where education is not free, from kindergarten to elementary to high school, education is free, guys. You are not paying out of pocket. Yes, you would be asked to pay for stationaries or, you know, the things that your child will use um, to work in school. And if you don't have it, they would make provision. So it is not a must that you must bring. Some people don't still bring, but they go to school to the grade 12. It is totally free, guys. So the teachers, the lecturers, that teach these children, they are happy because they are also well paid. When you're paid well, you're happy to teach and you're happy to impact, you know, this knowledge to other students. And I see the reason why there's so much growth in education in this country. The quota on education is so high because they want everybody to have education, everybody to be educated, at least to the grade 12 level, whereby you can decide whether you're going further on your own expense or you, you can start working from grade 12. That's basically like almost where most people decide, except you say you want to go to college, you want to further your education. When you're done from grade 12, you will get a job. It's good that a country like Canada is investing massively in education. Kudos, Canada. Another reason or benefit for moving into Canada is the massive job market. There's, there are jobs. There are over 500,000 jobs available. Depends on the kind of job you want to do, you'll find one that suits your family needs. You'll find one that suits your timing, your availability. You can decide to work on a casual basis whereby they call you when there's available work to be done because you have other things that you do. Probably your schooling, or you have other things that you're doing. So it's, it's available. You can be on different shifts. It depends on all the things that you also have that you're engaged in. So for instance, you can work, you can school, you can work, you can do business, you can work, you can, you can do so many things. And there are jobs for you. You can decide to go full time as well, five days in a week, 40 hours. And that is also available. You can decide to be on a part-time basis, work on a part-time basis. That's also available. So these are, there are jobs that meet your needs. I know some countries just have full-time jobs, some maybe contract jobs, some, you know, but there's all-inclusive here in Canada. So it depends on your needs, your family commitment. Sometimes you can't totally be away from your family for five days, four hours, four, four eight hours 
in a day, five days in a week, which is a total of 40 hours for you to work on a full-time basis. You can pick your hours, you can pick your days, you can decide to do what you're comfortable with, with the agreement of your employer. Of course, when you're stepping in, you're telling them, this is the contract kind of job I want to take. And everybody respects that. You're earning your income to the very minimum. As long as you're able to cater for your family, everybody's fine. Canada is happy. Canada's economy is also growing massively with, of course, the job opportunities that I mentioned that are available. Canada's economy is growing. And with the encouragement of family ties as well, for people moving into the country with their families, the economy expands. There are more jobs. People get the kind of jobs that they desire. And this cuts across all professions. You don't have to be worried that um, I work in this particular line or I work in this particular profession. Will I be able to get a job? Of course you will. It might take you a bit of time to settle into what is required or, you know, the criteria for each role, but you will get a job. They're even diverse, more than what you have back in your country. Sometimes there are, there are limitations in your country on even the kind of courses that um, students want to study in the university or in the colleges because the, the eventual profession that they will be stepping into are not available. But in Canada, that is not the same. You can decide to go on aeronautic engineering. You can decide to do robotics. You find where to work. But if you do that in my country, no work will. Anyway... I don't intend to make this video too long, so if this video has been super helpful to you to make a decision, remember to like, and if you're new to my channel, remember to subscribe, and leave me a comment in the comment section. Tell me more things that you want me to share with you in my next video, and I'll be happy to bring it your way. So till I come your way next time, it's me, Afolake, signing out here. Stay blessed. See you again in another vlog. Bye for now.